Hi, this is Jack from Planet Eclipse. We're here to have a quick look at the GO3. So going to the internals of the gun. I pulled this gun straight off the production line. Um, been assembled by Steve, so we'll take a look inside and see exactly how he's done it first of all. And then we'll clean it off and I'll show you how I would do it. Which is hopefully the same way Steve's done it. We'll pull out the prop shaft first. And if you take a look at that, you'll see that is pretty much... Uh, textbook lubing on the front prop shaft o-ring. The rear greasing at the back here, this is more assembly grease just for the threads and for the rear o-ring. Obviously the rear o-ring is static, nothing uh, moves over that during the firing cycle, it's just for when you screw it in and out of the gun. It provides a seal at the back of the gun. But the, the key one here is the 14 by 2 at the front of the prop shaft. And you can see the amount of grease on that is perfect, there's a white line all the way around the grease but no excess in front or behind the actual o-ring itself. Going back to the inside of the gun, pull out the can and the bolt assembly. Again looking at the front of the can, uh, you've got these two o-rings at the front, either side of the vent for the uh, front bolt drive. Um, the grease on that area there is again just assembly grease, it's just uh, particularly on the first time the gun's assembled, we use a bit more grease than is necessary just to get that whole assembly into and out of the gun. Uh, it can, once the gun's been assembled you can remove most of that grease and it'll still move freely in and out. The can doesn't actually move during the firing cycle so it's quite easy to run with those relatively dry after the first assembly. Sliding the bolt out. Again, looking at the O-rings in the centre of the bolt there, just wet with a little bit of grease, no excess grease on the tail of the bolt, no excess grease on the front of the bolt, and on the inside of the can, you have the number 17 on the inside of the can there, and again that's just wet with grease, no excess amounts, no piles of grease down the inside of the actual um, can itself, so Steve's done a pretty good job there. So, if you're taking the gun apart after a, a day's play, always use a, a microfiber. It's one of the best things is it takes the grease off really quickly. It'll take any paint off, debris, dirt, dust, uh, soak it all up into the microfiber. You can then wash it after you've used it and reuse it next time. Wiping off all the grease from the inside of the can. Um, take off any excess and dirt from the outside of the can as well. Same for the bolt. So, wipe the excess grease off the outside of the bolt. Just check into the inside the back here. That does need lubricating because that's the surface that the prop shaft slides on. So that does need to be kept clean and lubricated, um, just the same as the prop shaft tip itself does. So we'll clean around the bolt. And then on the prop shaft itself, we'll take that, wipe the excess grease, any dirt build up off there. It's all nice and clean. This point it's a really good opportunity to check the prop shaft bolt in the back. Um, it's very rare that this bolt does come loose. If we just push that through there, you'll see the prop shaft bolt come exposed at the back. Um, there's no point actually putting a hex key into this and trying to tighten it while it's inside the gun, because all that will happen is you'll ro rotate the complete assembly. See there, the prop shaft body is staying still and the actual whole prop shaft assembly is spinning. What you should be able to see is a hole through the actual prop shaft itself. That hole there is for a secondary hex key to go through. Should fit a 1 8 key. We can drop one hex key through the hole in the prop shaft, 1 8 hex key in the back, and make sure that the two are tight together. Don't be afraid of over tightening that, it will take quite a lot of torque, and it's good to have it torqued up pretty much as much as you can get on there. So reassembly and re-greasing. Obviously we're using Planet Eclipse grease. Take a little bit on the finger and I'll start with the inside of the can. All we're doing here is just pinching bit round the inside of the can, rotating and pinch it until you've got an even coating all around that number 17 you know, ring on the inside. A little bit of excess you got left on your finger Take it and place it on the inside of the can. Use your finger to smear it around the inside. 
that's Camden. Same amount again, so half the pea size. This time take the bolt and I just smear it around the actual bolt o-ring there, the rear one. This front one here is the bumper, the rear one here is the actual one that does the driving and the working. So this is the one that you need to be concentrating on, the rear one, that's the 14x2. Front section also needs just very, very light application. Wipe off all the excess. And again on the inside, take a little bit around the inside there and smear that around. And the rest of the bolt should be kept clean. Once that's all been done and your can's been done, you can just assemble the two together, pop the bolt through. Last part, prop shaft, and again just like the bolt o-ring, 14 by 2 wipe that around, rotating as you go, that should leave a nice wet and white line around that o-ring. I normally reassemble the two parts together once you've got that. Notice I haven't bothered lubricating these um, number 20s at the front or the 20 by 2 at the back. Slide that whole assembly in, screw it all the way home, no need to tighten it with a hex key, just finger tight just until it stops, it doesn't need to be pinched up, literally just screw it until it stops, that's fine. And that's your bomb maintenance done.